Italy, the country is best known for its unique architecture, delicious food, and excellent technical midfielders. Yes, you heard that right. The Bel Paese, or the beautiful country, has always been the cradle in which the game's best midfielders grew up. Daniele De Rossi, Tiago Motta, Marco Verratti, and of course the great Andrea Perlo. These are just a few names of many great Italian midfielders with unbelievable tactical and technical abilities. Speaking of Andrea Perlo, there is a young Italian midfielder who resembles the great number 21, both in looks and ability. Our player is the beardless Andrea Perlo, Sandro Tonali, who recently became the most expensive Italian player ever in the summer of 2023 after completing his move to Newcastle United. So how did Tonali turn from a young boy playing in Serie B to the most expensive transfer in Newcastle United's history and one of the best midfielders in current times? Well, in today's video, we're going to document the rise of Sandro Tonali. But before we do get into the video, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily football content. Sandro Tonali was born in Lodi, Italy on May 8th, 2000. He was the last born child of his family and their third, as he had two older siblings in his brother Enrico and his sister Mathilde. Sandro grew up with looks and also had a distinguished personality as he was very calm during his childhood. It looked like the young boy was destined for greatness from an early age. Tonali grew up in a loving family. He was very attached to his relatives, especially his maternal grandmother. By the way, she was the one who gave him the name Sandro in memory of her husband and boy's maternal grandfather. The Tonalis were a devout family, so he had a very religious upbringing as he spent most of his boyhood in oratory, a small chapel close to his family home. This was how Tonali was introduced to football. Wait, what? You're probably wondering, what has religion got to do with football? Well, Tonali attended a kindergarten attached to a small chapel he and his family attended. The same area had a football field where little Sandro discovered his love for the beautiful game. At age 5, the young boy started training with San Rocco 80, a team that belongs to the oratory he attended. Nonna Gina, Tonali's grandmother, devoted herself and time to supporting her grandchild during his early footballing days. She was always watching him train, always encouraging him to do better. In fact, she eventually became the reason why Sandro decided to become a professional player. But she wasn't the only reason behind that. In fact, we have a funny story for you. You'd think that little Sandro idolized Perlo growing up. But the truth is, he looked up to a completely different type of player. The little boy was obsessed with Gattuso, the ruthless AC Milan midfielder. He had a teacup covered with images of his idol, which he was addicted to using. The boy refused to have breakfast without his favourite cup, as his love for Gattuso and AC Milan grew up with every day. Sandro kept on developing his talent with the San Rocco Academy. It was slowly becoming evident that the boy had an exceptional talent, until one day he was spotted by a special scout. Well, it wasn't a real scout. In fact, it was a Catholic priest that spotted Sandro's ability. The priest insisted that the boy's parents should look online for better academies in the Milan area. Thankfully, they did find one that wore the AC Milan shirts. It was Lombardia Uno, an AC Milan satellite club, which Tonali immediately fell in love with because they allowed their kids to wear the black and red stripes. The boy immediately showed signs of brilliance, which were caught up by the academy's coach, Luciano Espito. He immediately knew that Sandro was destined to become a football player. His calmness outside the pitch translated when he had the ball at his feet. Tonali looked like a man playing with kids, the way he was so secure and confident. The boy was mature enough even before he hit puberty. Along with his technical ability and composure, Tonali had an excellent goal-scoring ability. Matteo Peron, one of Sandro's teammates, said that the boy scored 100 goals all in just one year. He added that Tonali won the award for best player in almost every tournament. Everyone was able to see Tonali's talent, well except for one club he loved the most. See, Tonali had the opportunity to have a trial at AC Milan, however the boy was left crushed after he was rejected because the trialists thought he wasn't strong one on one and didn't stand out technically. They obviously got this one wrong. Tonali's loving family stood close to him and helped him overcome this rejection. His parents quickly found a solution to heal the little boy's heart as he was accepted by another football academy named Pigenza. From 2009 to 2012, Tonali spent his time developing at Pigenza until Brescia Football Club called him up for trials when he was just age 12, which he successfully passed and was integrated into their academy setup. This was the first step Tonali took towards stardom. The boy had success in the younger categories of the club 
he was more mature, technically secure, and calm than all of the other players his age. At 17 in 2017, Tonali finally became a professional footballer as he debuted for Brescia in Serie B. Sandro featured 19 times for the club in the 2017-18 season, scoring two goals and assisting another two. The following campaign, he became an undisputed starter, making 34 appearances and having 10 goal contributions. He played a crucial part in his team winning the 2018-19 Serie B title and gaining promotion to the Serie A. He was also named the Serie B Footballer of the Year and the Serie B Best Young Player. In the 2019-20 season, Sandro made his Serie A debut and scored his first league goal with a beautiful long-range free kick against Genoa. A goal that officially introduced the midfielder to the Italians and showcased his technical brilliance. By the end of the season, Tonali was named the 2020 Italian Golden Boy. AC Milan realized they had made a massive mistake by rejecting the player back in the day, so in September 2020, they signed him for a season-long loan for 10 million euros with an option to buy for 15 million euros. Sandro impressed during his first season as he made 37 appearances for the club. In July 2021, the deal was finally made permanent. Tonali couldn't have wished for a better season than the 2021-2022 campaign. He made 45 appearances in all competitions and scored five league goals while assisting another three. He became irreplaceable in Stefano Pioli's starting 11 as he played an instrumental part in winning the Scudetto for AC Milan for the first time in 11 years. The following campaign wasn't as good for Sandro and Milan as they failed to defend their title, with Napoli dominating the league. However, he led his club on a heroic journey in the Champions League as they reached the semi-finals. Sandro kept on being one of the first names on Milan's matchday squad as he made 48 appearances across all competitions. The boy looked like he was at home. He was at his boyhood club, which he had supported since his early days. So what happened in the 2023 summer transfer window wasn't expected. AC Milan had been financially struggling for many years, which made them consider any important bids they got for their players. That was precisely what happened when Newcastle United came with a whopping 70 million euro proposal for the player. The deal was finalized in a matter of days and Tonali became the most expensive Italian player and Newcastle's most expensive player of all time. Newcastle's recent rise was due to their intelligent recruitment. Players like Wilson, Isaac, Byrne and Bruno Gamares proved to be successful transfers as they led the Magpies to qualify for the Champions League for the first time in over 20 years. Bringing in Tonali will also prove to be a correct call. Alongside Bruno and Joe Linton, and especially if Newcastle manages to bring in a proper number 6, Tonali can thrive in the Premier League thanks to his technical ability and tactical awareness. Of course, nothing is guaranteed in football, but we can assure Assure you that he will have one fantastic Premier League season next year. That was the story of Sandro Tonali, who went from being rejected by AC Milan to becoming the most expensive Italian player in history. Do you think Sandro Tonali will make it in the Premier League? Will he elevate Newcastle to help them become serious title challengers? Share your thoughts in the comments and remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more footballing content. Why not check out the rise and fall of Sadio Mane? Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.